Inflation in South Africa decreased more than anticipated last month, reaching its lowest level since April 2021. This development is seen as a signal that the central bank will likely reduce interest rates this week. The headline, consumer inflation dropped to 4.4% year-on-year from 4.6% in July, slightly below the South African Reserve Bank's target range midpoint of 4.5%. Moreover, the data has increased expectations for the central bank to implement its first interest rate cut in over four years on Thursday. Standard Bank Group's head of South Africa Macroeconomic Research, Dr. Anna Mulman, provides insights on the recent economic adjustment. The decline in consumer inflation in August was exactly in line with our forecast, although slightly below some economists' expectations. Perhaps the most important aspect of this data is that it reflects a generally benign inflation picture. So it's not only about the easing in headline inflation and reasonably low core inflation, but we've also seen in this data set in particular a decline in prices in several categories. This includes a decline in fuel prices in August, and of course we've already seen a decline in fuel prices in September that will affect that inflation number, and there is likely um, going to be a further cut in the October data. Indeed, by October, consumer inflation could be very close to the bottom of the Reserve Bank's 3-6% to inflation target. This benign inflation picture, of course, creates scope for the Reserve Bank to cut interest rates, but we still think that it will be a gradual and very shallow interest rate cutting cycle and we still foresee only 1% of cumulative interest rate cuts in the next few meetings.